Welcome back to another one. On this one, I'm going to run you through a few little uh, tactics that uh, you may have figured out by now, or you, or you may not. So um, I'll run you through a few of them and uh, hopefully they help. Here they are. First one is, uh, you, let's say you're on yellows and uh, you're in a little bit of trouble out on the table. You wanna stop your opponent. Most people, most players, will hit the yellow and try and put it in front of the table, of the pocket there. Uh, obviously in these rules, it gives them the advantage later to play the turnover shot. So what I've found in uh, my short time of uh, playing international rules is that pretty much always you want your ball, not in front of their ball, whether it's here, or whether it's up here, all right? You actually want it on the other side. So by having it, having it on the other side, it means that you take control of this ball and they can't really do anything with it. Even if it's like this or it's like this, at any point in time, you can play the turnover shot yourself or... You can do whatever you like with their ball. But if you have it the other way around, this side, or even like this, even if the white ball's down this end of the table, they can always run up and touch their ball. Or they can even hit it that hard that they knock that yellow out and send it up the table and then leave the white and red down this end of the table. So if you're ever playing a safety, always have your ball behind their ball and not in front, because most of the time, having it behind, you'll have far more options later on. So if it's here, something like this, you want to put your ball on this side, and you can see how now it blocks them from doing whatever they want, all right? If it was this way, if you put your ball this way to block them, then now they have control of your ball, and they can do with it what they please. So that's the uh, first little tip. Keep your ball behind theirs and you'll have control of that little soldier whenever you like. Tip number two. If you find yourself in a situation like this on reds, you want to go game. It is a little bit difficult. So we pull up red onto the yellow. We play the changeover shot. But instead of just playing changeover shot and leaving the white here, or playing the changeover shot and having the white in here and the red here to try and keep them off this ball, let's try and play the changeover and stun across and knock their ball in as well and leaving the white down here. So a lot, a lot of players do just play this and they don't try and knock in the other ball as well. Here, I've played the changeover, I've knocked in this ball, and now I've left him with nothing. I've even got a little bit lucky here too, and I'm in the jaws here. They can try and snipe that one in up there, but you're making your opponent play a very tough shot, rather than just play the changeover. Go that little bit extra, and play a changeover, and also try and knock in one of their other balls as well, and you'll find yourself uh, moving leaps and bounds ahead in this frame, tactically. So um, always look for that. If you're gonna play a changeover, if they do have another ball that's near another pocket, obviously, you know, if, if the ball was out and there was risk of you going in off, don't do it. But in a situation like this, definitely, definitely give it a go, because you can see right here, You've taken more soldiers off the battlefield for them and it's just going to be harder for them to win the war. So give that a go, practice it, even just practice potting a ball and stunning across, potting a ball and stunning across and uh, after honestly five or ten shots you'll get really good at it. You'll enjoy it, you'll like it and then in a game you can use that to your advantage. Third, final tip, in international rules 
it's more about the white ball and where you place it, especially with the safeties. So in a situation, say like this, you're on yellows, you'd find yourself out of position a little bit. Obviously you wanna try and look for a safety. You walk around and you go, okay, I literally have a wall down here. We're not too worried about where our object ball goes are too much. We really wanna focus on that white ball because that white ball is everything in international rules. Why? Because unlike world rules, when we foul or when the opponent fouls, you don't get ball in hand, you get two shots. But with ball in hand, you can place that white ball wherever you want on the table. So effectively, uh, effectively having a, a dead ball, like maybe say in here, you can put the white ball right there and knock it in. So you don't really have any dead balls, unless they're really obviously packed in there tight. That's, that's another story, but something like this, you obviously walk around, find yourself a nice, a nice spot to cover up. You play your safety and you can see how just focusing on the white ball itself, I've now put them in a lot of trouble. So, you know, even if I've killed, you know, even if I've killed that yellow a little bit, if they try and get out of it, uh, you know, let's just say they try and get out of it this way and they, they hit it harder or whatever and they, and they miss it completely or they, they come off the back and hit, hit it up there or whatever, you get ball in hand and you now can place this white ball wherever you want. So in these rules, white ball in hand is basically having guide mode. So don't be afraid to play a good safety with a good white ball and when they foul you'll have ball in hand wherever you want and you can play even shots you know like say i've got if i've got something like this you can play like a shot like this and if you want to you know open open up the black even though the black is already opened up Look, look how easy now I've made this, made this out. Alright, so you can see by having ball in hand, you can do a lot more than having two shots in world rules. So, concentrate on that white ball, get a good white ball, and in a way don't worry too much about the object ball because when you get ball in hand, is basically all over. Or you can put them back into trouble. If you're still not sure, you can place a white ball. You know, if, if these were still here like this or whatever, say something like that, and you still didn't want to go game and they failed, you know, or something like this, you can still, if you wanted to, you know, play play a shot like this. Not that not you're going to, but you know, you can do something like that and send the ball down there and you're still in control and even if they fail again you can do the exact same thing you know you can, you can do something like this and just slowly slowly maneuver your balls into better positions just because you have ball in hand doesn't mean you need to go game straight away it's all about moving that one step further to winning the frame whether it's a, another safety or whether you're going out. Hope you, li hope you like these couple of tips, three tips. Um, again, like and subscribe, uh, share if you care. And uh, for all those that have uh, subscribed already, I really do appreciate it. Um, and all those that haven't, please do. And I hope you uh, are enjoying the content. And as always, see you on the next one.